You are listening to The Culinary Courtesan, the edutainment podcast about lifestyle, wine, and spirits. Hosted by Yolanda Shoshana. Let's get this party started. Hey, it's Yolanda Shoshana. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Culinary Courtesan, formerly known as The Pump Head Podcast. I did a little revamp and a little reboot, which is why the podcast has a different name. More of the same information will be coming your way. So this segment is about a cookbook. I have a fetish for cookbooks. I love them. I love looking through them in stores. I love it when people send me cookbooks to review. Um, I've gotten a lot of great cookbooks at Book Expo before they come out. And my other favorite way of getting a good cookbook is going to thrift stores. You can get really good ones for one to two dollars. I got the Julia Child uh, French cookbook for like three bucks, barely used. I love that stuff. And you can find cookbooks that are out of print a lot if you go to thrift stores, which is great because those books just have lots of historical references. You learn how people were eating and what was going on. So in this episode, though, I want to tell you about a wonderful cookbook that is Greek food, and it's called My Greek Family Table, and it's by Maria Bernardis. I adore Maria. She is just so wonderful, and she just makes some of the best food. I met her a couple years ago when she had just moved to New York. Uh, she had an event, and she made these wonderful little Greek dishes and had Greek wine, and she is the one who actually put me on to Greek olive oil. It's pretty much what I use uh, mainly at home now, though, since I'm doing a little study of olive oil. I've got a lot, a few more regions now, but I really love Greek olive oil. It's like my favorite go-to because of the healing properties. So in her book is this great recipe that I'm making today, and it is for these little Greek, um, it's like these little Greek pies. You put in a muffin tin and you bake them. They're uh, a caramelized onion parcels. And easy to make. You caramelize the onions and then you throw it in the muffin tin with the with the um, with the phyllo, the pastry puff, and with some olive oil and some feta cheese, and you bake them, and you are good to go. I think I'm going to add garlic to mine, though. I kind of want like a caramelized onion garlic situation, and I'm going to have it with a nice little side salad. But let me tell you a little bit about onions. Some things you may not know. I happen to love onions. I know not everybody does. And I don't care about having onion breath or garlic breath because it just is what it is. I love them. I'll eat them at any time. But onions are so good for you. Onions, of course, go as far back to the Egyptians. You may not know this. I didn't know this. But the Egyptians worshipped onions. You can actually find photos or paintings, rather, of priests holding onions at altars in the pyramids. So the Greeks, I'm sorry, the Egyptians absolutely loved onions, and they also would put them in tombs for pharaohs for eternal life, which I think is just so, so interesting. And then you have the Romans who ate onions regularly, and they used them as well when they would go on their journeys. People liked onions because they have um, they last a decent amount of time it's the kind of thing that you could carry with you and it wouldn't uh perish like in a day or two so this is another reason why onions were a big thing and in the middle east onions were prescribed for headaches and snake bites and hair loss i think that's funny hair loss uh they were given as wedding gifts as well now where the greeks come in with onions um Alexander the Great used to give his soldiers onions and garlic uh, because he thought it added to the cord, uh, the courage of the warriors. I think that that's kind of cool. And also, uh, they also thought of onions as well as garlic as an aphrodisiac. So they would use that to kind of get things popping. You know how the Greeks do. The Greeks are... They're lovers. (laughs) They really are. That's why I like the Greek people. And onions are great for vitamin C, and they're great for fiber, and they're low in sodium, and there's just so much that you can do with them. And they're also great if you have a poor appetite. So if you find that your appetite 
is low because you've been stressed out or I don't know every once in a while I too have weird food moods and my appetite's a little like meh and whatever I'm eating isn't necessarily what I'm into uh, an onion might help to cure some of that and you know there's lots of different onions I really lo- I love red onion and I love the sweet onions which is what I have to make my little caramelized onion situation so Onions are really great for lots of things and they are really beneficial to your health. And the Greeks really love that. So you'll find lots of onions in some of their their foods. I'm going to have this recipe for these little caramelized pies on my website, awitchintheworld.com. The night I met Maria, she made these and I fell absolutely in love with them. So I knew I had to get the recipe to make these little pies at home. Uh, I got her book as uh, to review, and um, they're just one of my favorite little treats whenever I have time. So, you know, I like to cook on Sunday. That's kind of my thing. But I'm also trying to get ready for summer, get sexy for summer, so I'm trying to keep the weight down. You'll find that in Greek recipes, they don't have a lot of meat. Uh, that's something about the Greeks that you may not know, but they don't use a lot of meat in their, their food. There, of course, there are sections that have meat in this book but they don't necessarily eat meat every day and that also can be something that can keep you a little bit healthier you know the more meat you eat the more weight you have on your body so if you're trying to cut back on meat i highly recommend uh more of a greek diet so let me know if you do choose to check out this recipe and if you try it i would pair it with Uh, a white wine. I'm actually going to have champagne today because it's Sunday and I like my champagne on Sunday. So I'm pairing this, these little pies with um, champagne, Tat and Jay, and I'm going to have the salad and I may maybe throw in some potatoes. I haven't figured out if I'm going to add something else. I just feel like that might be enough. I like to eat light on Sundays, uh, especially when I'm like doing work and everything. The easy meal is the best way for to go on a lazy Sunday. And these are great for a little comfort food, lazy Sunday kind of a thing. Or, you know, you can make these early and then you have them the next day or, or you pop them in for lunch or what have you. So, yeah, onions. Don't sleep on onions. They are really good for you. So until next time, peace, love and cheers. <laughs>